Hey everybody, Matt here for Imagine Then Make. Thanks for stopping by. In my last video, I showed you how I cut these legs out of a standard 2x4 using a circular saw and a jig that I built. In today's video, I want to show you how I install these inserts and use several pieces of threaded rod to create these joints for my new bookcase design. Well, here are the four legs that you saw me cut in the previous video. And in today's video, I want to show you how I install these inserts. Uh, an insert goes on each end of each leg. Right, so I'm just going to clamp this up in a drill press vise, which is actually clamped to my table. This seems to hold it down secure enough. I take a ruler and go corner to corner just to mark the approximate center. Take a little finish nail, make a little divot, okay, I'm going to take a Forstner bit. This is a half inch diameter Forstner bit. I put a little flag on the shank of the drill bit so I can drill about an inch and a half deep hole because the inserts are about one inch long. So I figure an inch and a half deep hole will provide plenty of clearance. So I'll take the drill bit, put it in my drill, drill my hole. Okay, so there's my hole. To install the inserts, I'm going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. There's a little hex opening in the top of the insert to accommodate the Allen wrench. Use a little bit of downward pressure, but not too much, to get the insert started. I should point out too that these inserts are designed for soft wood, and since these legs are cut out of standard 2x4s, these are the inserts I need to use. It's going in slowly, giving the insert a chance to cut the threads in the wood. I should also point out that the end of each leg is free of any knots or cracks any defects in the wood because if I try to insert or screw in an insert into a leg that had a big knot say right here I'm liable to crack it crack the leg so since I don't want that when I cut the legs I make sure that the ends are at least the ends are free of any knots or cracks thinking ahead to installing the inserts. Get a little bit more leverage still if I turn the wrench this way. These inserts also have a flange on the end. So they will install flush with the surface. There's nothing sticking up here, which is what I was looking for. Okay, so there's the insert installed. There's a nice big knot, but it's far away from where the insert need to be installed. So that's fine. For a threaded rod, as I said earlier, 
I just have leftover pieces of 3 8 by 16 threaded rod. Some people call it all thread. I just cut off a 3 inch long section and it's able to screw right in to the insert by hand. So that's how easy it is to install an insert in softwood at least that can take a pretty beefy piece of threaded rod. You'd be hard pressed to bend this um, with just your hands as opposed to say a quarter 20 threaded rod which is a lot more um, flexible. So what's exciting for me about these threaded rods and inserts is that now I can add these to the designs I come up with when I want to build something that could be disassembled uh, for storage or for easy um, moving to a new location. So it just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. This is the first time I've used inserts and I'm sure I'll be using them a lot more now that I've gained this experience. Hey everybody, Matt here. Hey everybody, Matt here for Imagine Then Make. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, three, two, one.